Alright. First, I'm gonna check this fluid. Oh, uh, it's it, it's very full. There's some stuff in the bottom. It's kind of dirty. Um. Then uh, you can check this with some uh, paper. Oh, should've never took it out that far. But from the look of it, it's pretty decent looking. I mean, it's fairly new, fairly oldish, not terrible. And this truck actually has two tanks, and both of the filters are inside the tank. The other tank's right over there, right next to that smokestack. The hoses have seen better days. The military paints over their hoses, so they just don't like to keep them pretty. Uh, the fittings are sometimes corroded. Uh, you need to replace them. You'd want to replace them. You'd want to replace all these lines as well because they do have the paint on them, and that paint is just not doing these hoses any good. The cylinders are corroded. They still work, no leaks. They could just need a nice little sandblasting and a new coat of paint. Don't eat none of this paint, y'all. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you the motions of the cylinders and the arm in a minute. But there's more corrosion, more paint on the lines, more cracks no problems um this does have a backhoe and a bucket the backhoe is not all that great it leaks from right uh, there it leaks from right there it's the bucket one uh, and then this is the other tank this tank is kind of low because this is the one for the bucket which would make sense for it to be leaking and to be low. All right, I'm gonna show you how it works. Even though there's a step right there, I'm gonna use this one. Cause I'm little. <laughs> All right. These are, are several levers inside the truck you got your two bucket levers up, up down um, your drive lever or your drive shifter for your high and low gears and then your other shifter for your different levels of gearing This does have a choke, but it's also the throttle lever. Lever keeps the gas pedal down some, so that way you can idle the RPMs up for the back and for the front, or keep it on. Because if you just had it like that and try to turn it on, you'd have to be on the gas the whole time trying to keep it up. So pull it back some. Turn key. Slam on the, the clutch. Okay. So I'm gonna clutch some more.
clutch. I mean, not a clutch. Well, it has a clutch, but it's like an old school diesel. It's got to be turned. And then there's still some pressure in the lines. The bucket's still kind of up. So we'll let the bucket go down. Arms all the way down. Yeah. Everything, all the pressure's been released from the lines so it can sit over time and be all right. And all you'd have to do is just move the lever up and down, get the pressure out. And that is your PMI or PMC S for this Unimog. And I'm Homie Diaz from JTech signing off. So